Okay, fish kind of moved all just a little bit. It's so right where we just caught that 434. There's three or four more fish running that 12 to 14 foot break line. The ones before that were kind of loaded in that 10 to 12 foot. Oh man. <laughs> Pausing it was trying to get the ice off the guides. <laughs> These ones are a little deeper now. They're a little bit nicer sized fish. So I think when I keep throwing my crankbait out a little deeper. <laughs> Let's see where these fish are at. One o'clock, man, loaded. 360's got streaks everywhere. You can see that one o'clock, there's like five, six, seven white streaks there. Those are all fish. I'm on bare bottom, it's the only thing showing up. One was swimming with it. Oh, came off. Yeah, I never felt like I got a good hook set on it. Plus the crank was messed up, which means he probably hit it head on, had it wedged in his mouth, never did let me get the hook in it. I love it when you load into one and it's just dead solid. Oh, <laughs> oh I don't get any better than that. This one's pulling a little drag. Feels pretty good. Got a quick little glimpse, it looks pretty good. Oh yeah. <laughs> nice. Oh man. Another nice fish. Just hammering this 200. There. <laughs> All electronics, man. I was in a reel in, I look back, there's a fish chasing my crankbait. <laughs> It was this bass right here. Stopped it and played a little twitch, little game of cat and mouse. <laughs> and put him in the boat. No way I get that fish without electronics. No way. Oh, they're just loaded up there. That 360 has streaks everywhere. They're blurry because I got it on high speed. I don't care if I see a streak, I know it's a fish. Doesn't have to be crystal clear. I'm looking for updated info and where to cast. There. <laughs> I 
this is fun. Even with frozen fingers, went straight for the world. is still loaded. There, swimming off with the bait. It's funny how you see about 20 white marks there on the 360 like that, all to the front right of the boat. <laughs> you cast in there, pause it a little bit, and bam! It's a good one. Barely hooked. Oh, there. <laughs> oh man. We wait all year for this bite and you don't get many days with it because when it starts the dang lakes freeze up right after it gets there but oh man I wait all year for that. It's still loaded. The pauses are so long that your guides freeze and your line sticks, your reel opening freezes. Another one. Oh man. It's just absolutely non-stop. <laughs> it's seriously, it's almost like a dream to be able to come out on your last trip of the season of open water have two hours to fish. Been on here for less than 90 minutes right now. And it's absolutely crazy the bite that's going on. This was like a really good one. Slow head shakes. No twisting, so it's not a pike. Let's end the season on a big one. How cool would that be? Oh, it looks big. Oh, it's a tank. This is how we want to end the season, man, right here. This is how we want to end it. Oh, it's got to be a five pound fish. Oh, got her. Look at that. <laughs> Oh, it might not go five, but it's a big one. Oh, look at that. <laughs> oh, if that's the last fish of the season, man, I'll take it. Mm, gonna smile all the way home. Okay, let's get her down there. Time is running out on the season, man. Sun's going down, it's halfway down through the trees. Temp is dropping. My hands are getting really numb. Oh, one bumped it. Oh, oh, he was swimming off with it. Out of words. So I'm just gonna reel this fish in and enjoy it. Oh, it's another big one. 
So we just let that 480 go. Had a bad cast because everything was iced up, freed it up. Very next cast. <laughs> This one runs into it and bites it. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah, there's suspended jerk baits out there, but these suspended cranks by putting suspend dots and strips on there, and getting them to sit there perfect absolutely destroying fish every single cast hard to say there's a better bait when it's every single cast gets super hard to feel the fish when they're biting light and your guides are froze your reels froze your hands are froze The good thing is they're choking it so hard and swimming off with it that it gives you a little bit of time. Even if you don't feel it right away, you still have time to, to get that, that hook set and get the fish in. There. Oh. oh. Chowing down on that DBX 200. On the live scope, I can see it dive in that 10 to 12 feet. I got custom hooks on it, a little bit of weight to suspend it. And that bait is getting right in the face of those fish. Another look at the 360, you can see all those white streaks to the right and to the top. It is loaded up there. Looky here, got another fish pulling. I do not know how many fish are down there, but I don't think that 360's gone around one time and not showing five to 10 white streaks on there. This has been about an hour and 35 minute beat down without moving the boat. Oh. Here in front again. They oh shoot. Man, they're picking that oh he came back. They're running into that pause crankbait and they actually swim towards the boat. You already have slack lines, so you don't really see anything. You just lose all sensation. That one came off, and then after I paused it, he came back and cracked it. Got that crankbait just absolutely choked.
It was barely hooked. He's just all wedged. Holy smokes, she's a little bit up there. You can see in the graph, 360's got streaks, live scopes lit up. Heck of a school of fish. I kept the boat within the same 15 yards the entire two hours I was out here. Oh, he came back. Mm. Yep, that's ice in front of me. Oh. <laughs> and so my season's probably ending tonight. We got ice around the edges of the lake, ice in the channels, ice in front of the access. Cold, cold temps coming up the next few nights. And uh, all these small lakes that are just, the fish are chomping right now on this on this crankbait pattern are gonna lock up. And um, man, what a fun, just a fun season. So, so many good things this season. So many fish, so many good people we met and fished with. Um, I can't, I can't wait to see what next season has in store. Holy smokes. Just loaded over there. Look at the screams. 360's lit up still. <laughs> Live scopes all lit up. There's my crankbait right over the top of those fish. Long pause. Fish is right on it. Just ran into it. There he is. Got him. That is how, <laughs> that is how easy it is <laughs> with these electronics man don't don't buy them just to say you got them put them on your boat and learn them use them let it help you put more fish in the boat Until next season, see you guys.